What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am once again doing like a forfeit type challenge and I know you guys are some of you are 50 50 but I really I really do enjoy doing these and today I am risking my 98 Jason Giambi. We are going to draft the team and then go play. I'll see you guys in a second. What do I do here? I don't know. I feel like I go with Giambi. I feel like even though there's Bob Feller that's a starting pitcher. I can't really use him more than once. I think I got to go with 98 Jason Giambi, which is hilarious because if I lose, I'm going to actually be quick selling him in the main thing. So that's what kind of makes this draft kind of crazy. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to take 98 Jason Giambi. And as I was saying, like the hey lately, it's just it, it's been getting to me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It, it happens. I'm human. I'm getting constant negative comments on some things for a long time. It, it gets to me and I know I, I appreciate you guys a lot, but uh, I, I want to change things up. I want to make you guys like my videos again. I don't know what I did. I don't. I, I, I just don't know what to do, you guys. So I'm trying different things. That's part of what this series was about, was trying new things. Uh, here, I'm going to take Kyle Schwarber. I, he's really, really good. Kyle Schwarber can hit. Like, Kyle Schwarber. Ooh. Ooh. We got something going on here. Okay. I don't want. I've had him before. Didn't like him. Don't want a pitcher, so I'm going to be going with Ian Kinsler, which with the pair of him with Jason Giambi could be really, really good. Um, here, I'm going to go, I normally take a guy like Vance, but I got a chance to get a guy like Carlos Beltran, who's an absolute beast. So I'm going to go with Carlos Beltran. Uh, Travis Shaw, let's see, Wilmer Flores. Let's go Travis Shaw. Those guys got pretty like good contact stats, like really, really good contact stats. Now I gotta start taking more pitchers and relievers. I'm gonna avoid going for those guys for a while because I want my two gold rounds uh, to be pitchers, unless these are better. I'm not gonna take Fulmer. Um, Sutter, I could take him. Yunel Escobar, ooh, that's a card that could definitely play. JT Real Munto as a catcher, really, really good hitting stats for a catcher, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him. He'll definitely start for me. At catcher now. Oh, Xander Bogarts. No, I, I gotta go pitcher. I gotta fill up my starting pitching rotation with like not very good cards. Brad Ziegler, Addison Russell, or Jose Iglesias. I had Ziegler, he was good. I don't want Jeff. Addison Russell is also good, but like not as good as Jose Iglesias. I feel like Brad Ziegler is not a bad decision here. I'm not sold on either of those other guys. Like I like them, but I'm just not a hundred percent sold on those cards so matt boyd um eduardo uh this one i don't really care i'm just gonna get relievers let's just get some relievers because i don't i wouldn't mind one of my golds being a reliever but like last time it happened where i got both of them were relievers and i was pretty upset about that i did not want that i was not feeling that at all okay Anibal sanchez chad let's go with Anibal sanchez and that will fill up my starting rotation we still have those two other gold rounds which i'm hoping that those are going to end up being players because, or maybe like a couple, they're all oh, the relievers. Mm. This is tough. I'm taking Segura. I know these guys might be a better option in terms of, but I love this card. I already have Kinsler though. That's the problem. I already have Kinsler, but he has 94 contact versus right. He's fast. He can get on base. I got to go with him in that situation. It might not be a great decision, you might be judging it right now, but to me, I think that is the best decision in the draft case. Now we have a good close. I'm going to go with Chapman because Chapman just scares people 100%. He might not be the best in that group, but he just he's flat out scares people. People don't want to hit against a roll as Chapman. It's just kind of the way it goes, and it's the way it's probably going to go for a long time. Okay, got another chance at a good closer. Who do I go with here? Darren O'Day. Addison Reed is the highest overall and he's got the highest inside edge boost. So I am going to go with him. I'll be able to throw him in. He's a righty, uh, which is good. Now we can go and take our last one. Um, so this is our last reliever. I don't like that. A oh, I really don't like that. I messed this draft up a bit. I made a That was a mistake because now I only have two. Ooh, okay, last gold round. Adam Eaton. We got Johnny Bench, Chris Iannetta, or Christian Yelich. What's the situation here? Who are our bad players? Travis Shaw, third base. Beltran, right field. So a third baseman we don't have. Adam Eaton is a stud. Also, Christian Yelich is a stud, though. Like, I feel like Christian Yelich has got to be the play here. Who's faster? Mm. I'm going to go with Yelich. And he can play in the outfield. I think he'll be very, very good out there. 80 overall. Let's go. Oh, okay. I'm not. I love Corey Dickerson. Don't get me wrong. 
but Jackie Robinson is a card you don't pass up. That's just 100% a card you do not pass up. Even if it's just a silver, I gotta take him. Now we gotta go for guys highest contact. James Loney can hit righty, so I'm gonna draft him. Two more rounds remaining, who's got the highest contact here. That's all I look for, because these are the pinch hitters. These are the guys that are gonna come in late in the game when we need them. Okay, big round here. Steve Pierce is a beast. He's got power, I like power. McCann, Simmons, and but Diaz. Bats right, 89 contact. Who's got the highest overall? I got, I'll got. i go with Steve Pierce. He's got an 89 overall inside edge rating today. I'm going to go with this team. You can see the team right now. Let's go. We are risking a bunch on this game. I got to set my lineup, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Look at who we are playing. It appears he went all in on pitching. Judging by his team, it appears he went all in. He's got Posey, Gregorius, McCutcheon. I'm not super afraid of his lineup, to be honest. He's got the same Jackie Robinson as I do, but I'm guessing... He's got some fire in the bullpen because he only used one. Where, like, did he go all pitching in this? Like, he, does, he doesn't even have any goals. I don't, like, I'm very confused about this. Okay, so after a tough start, there is two outs here for Jason Giambi. I've slowly kind of started to pick up on how he pitches, though. And I think I figured it out a little bit. So I think I kind of know what to wait for. Nice hit, Giambi. Now, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. Like, I, I literally can't hit a ball any harder than that. So I just have to ex be okay with the outcome. Uh, but this guy's good. And that's why I'm worried. Because I know this dude's good. Get in there. Good job. Big out. Big out right there. Whew. Oh, the nerves are kicking in. The nerves are kicking in a bit. The 1-1 pitch. To go the other way, this is there, that's two gone. He can hit though. Like you can tell. It's one of those things where sometimes with me I have the same thing where I'm, I'm hitting the ball well. It's just not falling. And I feel like that's what's happened to him in these, these like first couple at bat. I got Sanchez on the mound. I've actually never had a problem with Sanchez. So I'm not just going to throw in a reliever right off the bat. I'm going to let him pitch. I'm going to let him at least pitch an inning because I don't have a ton of relief on this team. So I need my starters to get relatively like far into the games. I need my starters to get further into the game. Oh, bad pitch. Okay, what's the count here? 2-1? Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. I feel like he kind of knows where I like to pitch already, though. I can kind of tell that his PCI, like, yeah, that that was, I got a little bit too confident right there. Okay, go ahead and yell it. Yell it, you got a decent arm? Uh, runner at second. Runner at second, two guys gone. In a role this Chapman here, just because it is a stressful situation. And I was going to have him pitch the next inning anyways. Uh, so I figure, why not bring in Chapman in this situation? Runner on second, a base hit would score McCutcheon. So you can't be too cautious in situations like this. Like, I got to play this right. Match and put in a righty. So he knows what's at stake right now. He knows what's at stake. He kind of outsmarted me a little bit because I did put in a lefty. So if he does get a hit, okay, got to gotta gun that home. Got to gun that home, Yelich. Good job. Nice throw. Nice throw. It's okay. No harm done here. We just need an out. No harm done. There's runners at first and third. We just need an out. Don't let him get another. If he gets another hit, that's when we're in trouble. But for now, we should be relatively okay. Please, please. Yes, nice play. Gorgeous play by Kinsler. Kinsler. Ian Kinsler. I don't know what I was trying to say. Nice play by Ian Kinsler. That was so clutch. Like, that was on, like, another level of clutch, that play. Because for a second, I thought that that was just going to be a little base hit. And I was going to be super upset if it was like that. Now I got to get some runs. There we go. Nice hit, Yelich. Nice hit, Yelich. Way to get on base. I don't know who I have after Christian Yelich. I think it might be Jackie Robinson, who against a lefty would be pretty... Oh, no, it's perfect. Perfect. He hits righties better, but he's still good against lefties. Ooh, what am I swinging at? I can't swing at sliders like that. That's ugly. That is ugly baseball. I gotta make my... I gotta shrink in my strike zone a bit here. Nice nice job. That's, that's a tough play. Tough play for him at first. Good job. First and second. Nobody out here for Kyle... Schwarber. I don't like this though. I really, really don't like what is Schwarber? He can't hit lefties. He cannot hit lefties. Do I have anyone who can come in here 
who can hit. I'm going to put in Beltran. Beltran could be starting anyways, and he's a much better option in this situation. Like, a way better option. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. Respectable pitch right there. I just no double plays here. Please, no double plays. Oh, that, that could be. That's okay. That moves the runners up. Moves the runners up. I, it would have potentially went up the middle. It's just we did not get lucky there at all. Like, we really did not get lucky. Okay, inside slider. Don't sit, don't swing at that. Don't swing at that. Okay, wait for it. Okay, 1-1 one, one count. Got to get a run here. Got to get a run. That's a nice take, but it should have been a strike. It really should have been a strike. I got lucky. There we go. There we go. That's scoring two. That is scoring two. I'm sending him home. I'm sending him home. Ho hoping for a bad throw. Oh, he got me. He got me at home. That's okay. No big deal. We still got the one run, and we got Jackie Robinson up next. I'm doing a first pitch hit and run here. First pitch hit and run. Oh, I was hoping I could get it in the gap and then score the second run, but wasn't a super smart decision of me to send my runner there, but I'm not too mad at myself because we have the lead. We have the lead. That's all that matters. I got the clutch hit. Life's, so, life's good. Good play. The nice part is, too, in the next inning, I have like the top of my order coming up, and they did not perform very well in the first inning, so hopefully they have a better second inning. I got, Who do I have in my bullpen? I got 89 Addison Reed, and I got 82. Oh, I forgot I took Ziegler. I forgot I took Ziegler. Okay, we have three good pitchers then. I did not realize they even had that card. I honestly thought that I said no to him on the, in the draft. I really didn't think that I took him, but so relieved to see that I did. That is awesome. Okay, Aegon, you're definitely going to let Chapman pitch to him. It would be stupid to not let Chapman pitch to him. Easy inning right there. Three up, three down. Let's go get some insurance runs. Let's go get some insurance runs here because we need them. That's what he was hiding. I knew he was hiding something. I knew he was hiding something. I did not know that it was Batances. Just judging by his lineup, though, you could tell that he didn't have, like, the best group out there. So you knew that he had better players. And, like, I, I assumed it was bullpen. And we just got our clarification that it was bullpen. And two pitches, and I am out. Two pitches, two out. So, yeah. Batances was a good pick. He was a good pick. Oh, come on, Kinsley. You're the guy who needs to be getting hits no matter who we're facing. Gosh. Okay, Reed, I've never pitched with Reed before, uh, so I don't really know his strengths. I, I really, really don't. Uh, 95 mile per hour fastball and only three pitches. I don't love the fact that he throws only three pitches. And it's definitely it's not completely ideal, uh, but it is what it is. What bugs me, though, is that this guy, my opponent, has Buster Posey up next. That's the worst part. He has Buster Posey up next. That Kinsler pick, Kinsler has been unreal in the field. Like, for what he has been lacking in terms of hitting, he has made up for tenfold with his fielding. Jackie Robinson at third. Easy throw on to first. One out away from getting the first win and not having to quick sell my 98 Jason Giambi card. Nice one. And this, one runs this is where I struggle though because I always get like too, uh, what, what's the word for it? Too cautious in these situations. Like I always get to the point where I just like, I, I get too like, I don't know, too choicey where I don't want to throw a bad pitch so then I walk people and then I lose because of that. That always like bites me um, unless I really, really mess up. So I'm not so worried about that, but I am worried about that. I am worried about that because I'm pretty sure McCutcheon's after him and McCutcheon has a hit this game. But this is where do I keep Reed as entire yet, I don't think. If I take out Reed here. Let's go, you guys! That is how you end a game. Oh my gosh. We gotta watch that. We have to, like, this guy, you have to respect how I just finished this game. You, I don't care who you are, you got to, everyone who says that I suck, just watch this and tell me that I don't. Just watch this, tell me that I don't. Beautiful throw onto first. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if you guys have been hating the video lately. It's just, I, I, if you guys are still out there and there's still people that actually do like my videos, let me know, because uh, I have been feeling pretty down lately. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you still do. God bless you guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time.